gonna suppress it with cigarettes. Ladies and gentlemen, the return. House of Decline. Blouse. Blouse of you ruined. Blouse. I'm a girl now. You fucking morons. I'm a girl now. Don't oh, morons. I'm, was, I'm a lady now. I was going to say, there are some times where we start a podcast episode where it's like just Zach and I, and we, we don't have, you know what I mean? And we're kind of, right before we start recording, we're like, what do we have to talk about? Is there anything to talk about? Is there anything going on right now? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, that is not the case today. We have very big news on the, on the front of friend of the podcast. Mm-hmm. blouse of decline yeah. i guess i don't want to i don't want to be the one to say it for you would you like to come out or, sure. or, or tell yeah us? yeah i'll tell my own dance goddamn. monkey don't talk dance. over women don't <laughs> talk i i'm here to enhance your numbers there's all gonna be all sorts of people very curious what i have to say um but yeah i'm trans i'm a lady it's funny i know i don't look it yet and i am bravely appearing with my face no makeup Filled with razor burn, still boy moding. You know, well, I am I talking in a weird Texas voice. I should have known something was up with your willingness to any time there was a Twitter argument going on, you would post a selfie. That's very chick coded. That's, That's very chick coded. It is chick coded. You know, very well, chick-coded. also because you know, I wait recently. Actually, as a, as a result of re- it was nuts though because I had never had like food discipline or the ability to exercise before, but once like the gender euphoria kicked in and like the girl like was in control and the mission control in the head. It's like, I know what to do now. These controls are familiar to, and suddenly like I had like food discipline, like I never had before. (laughs) I was like walking a lot, you know, I was like being friendly to people and shit. It would be a great bit if you just stopped making comics and were like, I just can't be funny anymore. I just, I turn into a chick and like, I don't know what's going on. Well, you know, that's, that should be, that's of course the gag. It's like, I'm, I know I'm a woman because I'm not funny anymore. You know, that's (laughs) the misogynistic joke (laughs) that they all, or, you know, the other terrible misogynistic jokes that you cycle through that you don't say, but I'll say on here because it's the point of it is like, uh, if I ever went up and did the like awful trans comedy, just ter- dog shit trans comedy, you know, I'd be like, uh, trans women, well, like cis women, but funny. Speaking of funny, Harris, also, that's a very misogynist. There are lots of funny cis women. Uh, Sarah yeah, Silverman I pre pre you know whatever you know she's so Sarah funny Silver, bro she's, she's still pretty funny yeah. she's just so beautiful I'm not gonna list all the funny women Tina we do Faye. have we do have a female fan mm-hmm. who was asking Harris to be a little bit more funny so if you could work on that this episode Harris <laughs> yeah I got I yeah I it, it, periodically Zach will get DMs from complete randoms and be like can you tell us that your co-host to be funnier and I'm like. <laughs> I just want to talk about dinosaurs. <laughs> you need, uh, no, but that's your dynamic. If you were both the funny guys, that would be you got it. You need the push and pull. You know, well, you I'm not even the funny, funny guy. I'm not. I'm like the funny one. We're bit both more out of an hour. There's yeah, not, there we go. That's there's about, really not a that's dynamic. Well, let, let me let me start with this. Uh, I just out of curiosity, House. What was the secret to losing this weight so quickly? Were you because on Jose? No, it was literally the Jose? no. It, it was gender euphoria. It was like it was. I'm in control of my body now. Like I in this I, moment, I am euphoric. You I am in, euphoric. No, all whites. You know, people make fun of that. People make fun of all whites. You know, but Reddit atheism's your atheism's coming back, baby. It's coming back <laughs> it's in bad. a big way. It's and bad. Uh, you know, honestly, I am in this moment. I but. No, it's fucking crazy. Because you just think, oh, yeah, gender euphoria. Well, that's something they fucking made up. But if you tried all the SSRIs and shit, and you tried, like, the benzos, and you tried, you know, you did all the shit for your depression, but then just, like, the simple thing of turning the switch in your head from boy to... There's a little knob in your head, and you can switch it from boy to girl. Also, in between, whatever you want to do. Uh, mm. But uh, once you turn it to the girl switch, just, like, the immediate sense of, like, ooh, energy... Ooh, I can do when, things. When did, Suddenly, when I become you... aware of my extremities. I'm not like a ghost. Nick anymore. Fuentes, if you're listening, this could be you. This you could, could be happy. you. You could, you could be, be happy. You could be. Yeah. Or is I'm that out. have? Do people transvestigate Nick Fuentes? Oh, hardcore. Uh, yeah. There's. A, I always see trans. They might just be teasing, but it does feel that way. But a lot of like transitioning would save her. Even I've seen that. Yeah. Her, yeah. Well, you know. Uh, yeah. Talk about someone who is very clearly uncomfortable in their own body, which makes me sad. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yo, here's me, my I'm, question. I sympathize with... No, I do not sympathize <laughs> with that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here's my question. Here's my question. First of all, you know, 
cold cuts we've been very good to you house very good yes and uh excellent supporters instead always instead of the team. coming out on the pod you came out on your own pod which <laughs> kind of was yeah, a little messed uh, up could have given you the yeah. traffic but, <laughs> but, no out of curiosity uh a lot of the trans people i talk to male and female um there's like in between wanting to come out mm-hmm. and when you realize it Mm-hmm. Those are two like distinct moments. How long would you say you've been in this? Like, oh, I'm a girl. Uh, since last August, I suppose. Oh, where oh really? Was, like, oh, the girl switch for a turned, and it was just like you know, you don't want to jump into it too quickly because it's like, especially if you you plan to do the medical side of it. Uh, you know, you're like, well, I should probably sit with this for a while before I decide to drastically change my body. Uh, and so that was at the beginning of August. Now every day I'm like, give me the fucking girl pills. Give me the fucking girl pills. Yeah. I want them so bad. Every day I live without breasts is a fucking nightmare. You know, uh, so... <laughs> do, do, and... do you have people close to you in your life that are already referring to you with she, her pronouns or were you keeping it under wraps? Like, Yeah, totally? yeah. My trans friends who I told, you know, would instinctively do it. And that would make me feel, you know, good. And every, I don't want to like, my opinions are not indicative of, any other trans person but myself i don't want to say it so i i want to make that clear offhand but um because some people you know you they want you to immediately no matter what you look like you know you should start use the pronouns and that's right that's absolutely correct you should do that that's the polite and you know compassionate and human thing to do but I also sort of measure this against what I expect out of people. <laughs> you know, I, I, mm. you know, I have low expectations of people, which is not to say I just I love people, but I, you know, I think everyone is makes mistakes and they have no reference for this. You know, my mom is like, um, you know, and I love my mom. She handled this really well, and she's nice, but she's, you know, she'll still stay. Uh, she's grappling with it because I'm the only trans person she knows, and you know, yeah. it's the same with a lot of, of other people. And it sounds like your family is somewhat uh republican leaning which if that's the case <laughs> if you being the only trans person they know that means their entire view of trans people comes from like it's ma'am you know that like that video you know what i mean like if you ask yeah. my mom what a trans person was that's because that's like the only thing she's seen on like fox yeah Street, yeah you know well what that's mean? what they do they it's all it's all troon jacks that they're seeing yes you know? uh, yeah which I, oh, yes. I i'm sad for saying but don't <laughs> you know I don't, you're not gonna no. cut that I, I love, I mean, the problem with both Troon and Wojak and then Troon Jack is a comp, is Troon is a terrible insult. Like, all of their insults are awful. Oh, you're a failed man? Of course I'm a failed man! Why do I you think I'm taking the- Is it failman or fail son? I thought it was fail, fail son. Well, there's fail son, but what they'll say against trans women is you're just a failed man. Failed you know? man. Oh, okay. Failed okay. man. Failed and man. which is, yeah, duh. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think more than anything, it's just shocking to me. And uh, I feel like in the last even like two or three years, how much just like, like just like a deep demented internet culture, like the way that people talk has bled into normal like speaking right like the the big thing that changed for me that i feel like it was about like two or three years ago is that you could say cringe Mm -hmm. like out loud Mm -hmm. and in public and people wouldn't bat an eye about it whereas like that's like kind of like isn't that like a recent thing like if you like were referred to something as cringe but now everyone your grandma knows what cringe means well i would say (laughs) Because there used to be a huge, uh, this is so embarrassing, but back in high school when I would occasionally go on Reddit, but there was a very oh big, that subreddit R cringe. Oh, yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? But I don't think it was something people were saying. Y- you're you're kind of right, Harris, I think. No, I think yeah, people weren't saying right. it. At, like, what I'm saying is that people might have been saying it online. I mean, online, people have been saying cringe for like maybe 10 years, It's beca- but it's become so popular and pervasive that now when you're having a conversation with people in real life, strangers you could refer to something as cringe and they won't even bat an eye you know what i mean they'll know what you're talking about yeah. like and so that's why like some of this other stuff like the wo wo jack like you know cringe soy jack <laughs> like ch- like troon all this random shit it's like yeah. it makes me wonder that like do just like average people have any sense of what all this shit is like they had like I oh like, no what no absolutely fucking not means? you know, know nobody cares about this shit it's they don't know trans people they're like i don't care what what are you talking <laughs> about bud light who gives a shit it just you know i can drink a lot of them that's all i care about yeah. dylan well, mulvaney 
Who? My cousin yeah, stopped drinking yeah. Bud Light because of the Mulvaney fee. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be yeah. obsessed, bro. He gave me all Hilarious. his Bud Light workout gear. Like, I got a bunch <laughs> of <laughs> Bud Light shit. workout gear. Oh, dude, this guy Hilarious. loved it, bro. Like, he Who's loved this? it. He loved it. I mean, but, uh, Bud Light is the ultimate drink of alcoholics because it's like, ooh, less calories. I can drink more. Yes. Which yeah. is, you know, it, it is the saddest beer to buy by far because you know that's like someone's going to have like a reckoning in three years where they beat up one of their children or something like yes, that yes. well the the, the but but the handling of the bud light pr situation when that all went down was bungled so hard that i almost feel like it it will should be in history books in a oh, few yeah. years they threw it like, the fucking wolves Jesus yeah, they, 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 they literally they hired dylan mulvaney and all of these sort of like i don't know conservative people were like fuck you bud lights are burning all their bud light or throwing it in the river or whatever and then bud light was like no no we don't actually support trans people and then everybody who was like in their camp was like okay fuck you man and now it's just they're like i was just like why would you do that you know what i mean yeah. it's like why 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 would you even put yourself in this situation Pardon me, I, I heard a theory that it was purposely done because uh I wasn't aware of this, but the Bud Light company actually owns a lot of different beer brands. Oh, yeah. And I heard that this was probably oh. just psycho, but they were trying to say that it was like purposely done to improve sales on their other beers. I don't know. I've heard if that's that the like case. Modelo sales, which they also yes. own, went yeah. up. And but I don't I, who can speculate. I do think you're right Modelo in the sense that it was like a cynical thing of like, oh, we get a trans girl then it's going to be like those people the like the colonel selling i love elvis and i hate elvis buttons it'll just get people yes, talking about yes, our product yes. no matter what because this is a subject that has uh unfortunate controversy attached to it but also bro if you yeah. wouldn't rail dylan mulvaney just like destroy them yeah you're, you're a fucking you're queer you're yeah, a yeah, goddamn queer, queer. You wouldn't rail yeah, fucking are you queer. fucking kid you're a guy yeah, meant- you know you're not a man you know you know that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I meant to ask, do either of you know where the origin of the word troon comes from? No, where does I I've always it's so Something, funny. How can was... you be offended by it's like honky or cracker? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, that's called me a true. Well, the true is so fun because it, it sounds like if there was a Yugi, you know how Yu-Gi-Oh cards, there's like penguin types and human <laughs> yeah. types. It sounds like it would be a cartoon trans woman, the true. Yeah, the, the, like yeah, it just yeah. sounds fun, but it uh, just sounds ridiculous. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Originally, it's weaponized. Originally, it didn't <laughs> yes. refer to just trans women. It referred to trans women specifically. I could be getting this wrong. Um, from the something awful forums. That's where it okay. originated. Whoa, that's old. Yeah, it Dude, is. That's old. how long ago. Yeah. I um. Yeah. Did you guys I see this guy trying to. Slap I know. I see. He's climbing He's you. up on you, man. Did uh, uh, house when you when you came out on on Twitter? Which first of all, I got to point out two things because also since the last time that we had you on, you posted sort of like a face reveal. Even though you'd already kind of shown your face, you were kind of like, "Here's actually what I look like." The thin yeah. face yeah. reveal. Thin. The, yeah, yeah. The this thin is what, face reveal. This is what I I'm spelt now. I'm, yes, you you posted a face reveal. Mina. I'm a little you, smaller now. My rib cage is not as obtrusive. You, you like literally got thirty thousand likes on a selfie, and I was like, I was like, this motherfucker, man. I've never gotten that. Like, I would never. No, well, it's because you 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 uh, you guys blew your load. You gotta like make people wonder make what you look wait, like. Wait, you gotta make yeah. people wait. I, think I got ten k on my ass. I got ten. k Yeah, you oh, got you? you got some good ass pics. But, I do. Uh, I, I just feel in general like I was kind of pretty early on averse to the idea of hiding my face because you run into like a a friend of the podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> stone toss situation where people <laughs> literally just like there's so much built up that by that that just by revealing your face it becomes like a whole fucking oh you know yeah, what i mean yes. like he could have looked like anything and people would have just been like fuck you you know what i mean because they just want they wanted to get their licks in and so it's kind of like, like peter griffin was so good yeah yeah, yeah, I, yeah I said that, he that looked the like the most bit. reddit man alive which got you know scored some easy points on twitter by saying oh yeah. you're reddit stone top everyone you are the was, one who is reddit stone top. everyone was getting in the, uh, on there and, and, and it's like rightfully so but it's like that's why i was kind of just like i i felt even early on i was just like i, I don't really care about showing my face because like you know it's like it, and i feel like i said this recently it's like you know, as recently as like, I don't know, 10 years ago, you could just post a picture of you and your family on Facebook mm-hmm. and then everyone would just be like, oh, nice that's nice. Picture. Yeah, not like some Kiwi Farms guy not, wouldn't wouldn't put it in a file like, for later. 
Yeah, it's literally Kill like this oh, guy's no. mom. There's like yeah. this, I, I got a JPEG of this guy's like left nostril. We're gonna like dox and kill him now. And it's yes. just like, yeah. dude, what the yeah. fuck? Like, I do who cares what you look like? You know, celebrities like movie stars that are way more famous and well known. Like you could literally just look up their fucking address on like Google Maps. Like all of that shit is public. You know what I mean? Oh, I, yeah, I don't understand yeah. why e celebrities get this weird like stick up their ass about people just knowing like what well, they look like. To be fair, to be fair, okay. There is, there there is a a big group. I mean, what did we call them? Tender scolds or tender wokes? Tender queers. Tender, tender queers. queers. Tender there wokes. is a group of tender queers who like. I think you guys are safe. But someone like me, I think, could easily be like, "Well, you that know, guys are Nazi." You I don't. I, mean? I don't think you. I don't Maybe. think. I think a lot of people think that you're being serious with, or you actually hold the views in some of what you say about your comics. Uh, I, I think uh, they what don't views? get the i. That you know the, 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 the irony. Is the eclipse sun. is a black guy. Yes. <laughs> no, did you post people. that? Yes. Did you yeah. post that? Very on? strongly. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, but uh, you know, what, I mean, the thing with t- I don't even like the term tender queer because it's like these are my people. I was. A they're t- not. No, they're not. Stephen. They're not your people. They're no, your people. they are. I have to embrace that. I'm. I'm filled with love and forgive. And you know, the the entire. If you're a little trans baby, the world is so mean to you. Come here. Come here. I don't care if you love. I don't know, fucking She-Ra or whatever. No, I like She-Ra. She-Ra's a good show. I don't care if you like the gay cartoons. You're good. Well, that, well I was going to say that, that, that my that was my lead in was that like you got you got like 30,000 likes on a selfie reveal and then you just got like fucking what did you get? 50, 60K likes on your I don't know. Your, uh, coming out post. I was like, dude, what the well, fuck? Well, that was a big W for Trans Inc. That was a big W for <laughs> yes, uh, it, yeah, it was good get, good big get trans. for for trans, big trans. Big yeah, trans. for big trans, big big tromo. What house did you get any hate for the? Uh, for oh yeah, the... a little, but who cares? Really? You know, yeah. Oh yeah, all this stuff. You're a failed man. You're just, you know, you're just on. Oh, people You'll were actually. Well, dude, yeah, they say failed man. You got that's hate a great from one. when you just put a high noon, bro. Harris yeah, is about well, to come I, out I as did trans a... next episode. What the hell are you uh, drinking? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll get into it later. But I, saw, you know, I posted a Joker like selfie, you know, because I got exactly. when I smile, yeah. you know, my awesome. eyebrows naturally, when I, I have a big mouth, big wide fucking mouth, and big, you know, eyebrows, and they naturally go up when I smile. So I look insane. And I fully embrace this, you know, I fully embrace looking evil. Um, but yeah, you had all these, all these when I posted that. Because I, I posted it in also a thread as a response to Stone Toss. You know, this is what I look like. And people will say, oh, you look like the Jack Nicholson Joker, which is true. I do not mind being but compared to Jack Nicholson. Which mean, is that's based. That's based, that is man. Based. I'm the fucking people's Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, the usual thing of like, oh, he looks like a rapist. He looks like a pedophile. You know, the classic, all the, all the conservative people were, were, were doing that. And, you know, so whatever. You get that if you're on Twitter. You just yeah. have to expect that at this point. Wait, I've developed a, a thick skin to it. Fist eighty eight was accusing you of being fist as a bad. Yeah, it's always thing. those guys too. Okay. You know, and <laughs> you know whatever. Like it's always the guys who have like you look into their likes, and it's the wildest pornography you've ever seen. And uh, oh, dude, sure, that is yeah. like I beg God to one day give me a hater that is not addicted to lolly. I just need one <laughs> hater that one. I can actually like take critique from. Dude, that will we, help me. Yes. It's insane. We, we've literally. I, I feel like we've been saying this for ages now, but it's literally like I, th- there is this insane thing. I the, God works in such powerful ways that all of my haters are the are complete morons like 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 low functioning morons it's insane i've never seen any criticism from somebody that that actually i respected as a human being and it's a beautiful thing and i just yeah. i live above above criticism so yeah. fantastic i and know you better watch out you. by the way house because as soon as you announced that you're a chick uh we got about 800 texts from so oh, no I'm, I, I, no I'm just saying no I'm just saying I'm just saying no, watch uh, out watch out hold up no, that chaser no. alarm chaser alarm chaser <laughs> alarm chaser alarm I, I should chaser write alarm. out the chaser alarm there. I got no, I, I gotta know. say I'll at do the, that next the, time I'm on at the risk of just sounding super gay and warm and fuzzy I just say it feels so I just feel so much warmth when I hopped on this podcast with the two of you guys I was just like look how far we've come yeah, the three of us, man. Yeah. I, the first, the first time that we've been on, that we were on podcast, and we all spoke together, or before even on podcast, being on like Twitter Spaces, 
Yeah. And I remember like the first time hearing you two talking together on a Twitter space before I had even secured the handle Beetle Moses or I was even really doing anything at that yeah, point. You were Harris 1169 art. You were nobody. You were just a Jew in the no, South. Exactly. And 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 literally like I remember both of you were sitting at like, I don't know, like 20, 40,000 followers on Twitter. House, you're going fucking nuclear on Twitter right now. Like you are like this uh, yeah you, this what, dying you, platform i'm followers? thriving on this dying platform i feel like uh, i feel like Crazy. a post-apocalyptic queen i feel like a, a fucking uh, no dude he's getting that? rid of Morgan the bots. joe he's getting rid of the bots. <laughs> literally yeah. literally uh yeah oh yeah he's getting rid of the bots that's crazy but yeah no it's it, it is crazy it's just you know time just trapes is on like and yeah. i'm glad to see that everybody's uh you know everybody's doing well and uh ch 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 yeah. changes turn it changes face it this is or any, so true. Or any song about changes applies to but i mean that's the other thing that i've been thinking about especially these cringe guys too um is and you know the the broader idea of conservatism is to preserve right the idea that we can set things in stone and entrench things forever down and mm. what is scary about change or even the idea of progress you know they're afraid of the word progressive to begin with is the body is not a, a set thing it changes mm -hmm. along with you you know the old adage you're a different person every seven years because that's when your cell divides and this is aesthetically displeasing to these people they don't like the idea they like the idea of being solid and unchanging and unmoored and I think they like that idea because, you know, we're all fucking scared to death. And when you see yourself mm. changing, when you see your body mutating in front of you, you are reminded that you are going to die. And so I think that is the inherent aesthetic fear of trans people or queer people in general or anyone that even fucking well, looks. We talked about this last episode. Like, bro, yeah. if you saw the amount of hair I pull out of my shower every morning, <laughs> like when I shower, it's like it literally is just like you're going to die. Which can be scary. It can be very <laughs> scary yeah. for some people. Yeah. And I think when you confront people with radical change, especially, they become very aware of their mortality to an intolerable degree, such that they must rail against it in order to preserve their sense of self. I think that's also the thing with um, cringe, too, is that I, I, I do not think that the trans experience is vastly unrelatable because... Okay, so I mentioned Soren Kierkegaard a lot because he's the only philosopher I ever read because I was really depressed and someone told me that, hey, read Sickness Unto Death. It's the best thing ever written about depression. And mm. especially like a lot of people do transvestigation of Soren Kierkegaard because you read it and you're like, this bitch was fucking trans. This bitch was, you know, because this beautiful boy who mm. was, you know, just felt uncomfortable in his own body. I wonder why, you know, why was he so depressed but beautiful as well, you know? And, the way he articulated the nature of despair, he was also like a really big Christian. So his answer to everything is get right with God. Um, okay. But the way he articulates the nature of despair, why do I feel like shit? Why do I feel depressed all the time? Is that there is like a meet you and there is an eternal you, the one that is with God, the one that is in heaven, the one that is, you know, belongs to the universe, the one that is part of the human instrumentality project or whatever. You're just goo with everyone else in the thrall of God. And that's where you can be your eternal self. LCL, and the nature, baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the nature of despair is your meat self and your eternal self are misaligned, right? They should be sort of flush. They should be one to one. And when you're not there with your eternal self, you know, that's like, that's what causes this friction, this feedback. And mm. part of being comfortable with yourself is getting to that image of you in your head you know, the thing that you want to be. And I think this is true for everybody, you know, whether if it's you want to be a girl, whether you want to be more feminine or whether it's, you know, you want to do cartoons on the internet because that is your aptitude or that's your talent. You're always trying to get to this thing that feels right, where you feel more innate, more aligned mm -hmm. with yourself. Like you're, the way I describe it is like feeling solid, you know, feeling like you could break a chair over me because it's like, I have this rigidity or structure now too like yeah. that british guy video i love yes that video. You guys that's the greatest about? video on the planet. Right, so most romantic it? video i've ever seen Just i want to do that with trans women i want to reenact british that with guys. like really strong trans women i want to do that. wait what is it they're just the like video? chilling in their backyard and then the one guy comes up and kisses the other guy in the lips and then just breaks a fucking chair over his head what i've never seen right, that. i think it's oh uh, you've never seen it Dude, it's it's, it's, it's so the greatest great. video it's of all so time great. it is That's it is awesome. like a top five internet video there's just everything and they have these haircuts too where it's shaved on the side but it's, it's a zoomies the they're like 
zoomy. Yeah. Yeah. And they're also it, in pretty good shape, too, which yes, also makes yeah. it funny for some reason. Dude, why are British guys allowed to be gay and American guys are not allowed to be gay? What is, is up with accent? that? Is it the, the culture? Is, it's a naturally gay But, like, accent. I see them and it's, like, the yeah. straightest dude. Well, this is just a, just a straight dude thing. It's just, like, kissing your bros and, like, you know. Yeah. Yo, nice ass, brother. I but, think like, they, those guys were gay, weren't they? I thought they were I thought they were straight British guys. guys. I don't know. They could easily be. I don't I don't know the, the power of that projection. The, the, the beauty of it, I guess, is that you just don't know. It's just that it's the you beauty don't of know. It knowledge. could be anything. It is just a, my... it is just male love. It's a beautiful expression of male love. One of my favorite, uh, I think a top <laughs> top five video on the internet is the one of the person, I think it's a Vine, and they're going mm-hmm. back at it again at Krispy Kreme, and then they're doing like a triple backflip, and then yes. they like, hit their head on the Krispy Kreme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cut I perfectly. Love that video. <laughs> it's perfectly cut. Yeah. Oh, um, man, I got to pull it up. Great yeah, video. a top yeah, gotta, five uh, one for me recently I, was the uh, uh, Kanye West. You know, I'm not going to say what kind of yes, doctor he was. Yeah. I'm not going to say uh, what kind of doctor he was. Uh, a Jewish, Jewish doctor. doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a. <laughs> uh, the, the Burzum with the JPEG Mafia. That shit is so funny. J. Cole, I don't know anything about rap, but I got to sympathize with J. Cole for a second because I totally get like realizing too late. Oh, I'm too corny to do hater stuff. Oh, oh I'm yeah, way no. too corny dude, to which like is, be a hater. Dude, <laughs> but since his fan base doesn't think he's cool. Like, dude, my ex roommate was yeah, the biggest J. Cole. Head, and they unironically think he's like, they call uh, yeah. him the mind. He's the mind. Yeah, I know. Rap, J. Cole like, fucking bro. rules. He's every archetype of every guy in college you knew who called himself like the weed philosopher. Yes. Yes. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yes. I, I, I think it's so crazy. This finally, fe- it feels like the rapture, like for me, because I feel like I have just been saying to all of my friends who like enjoy J. Cole, I've just been like, dude, how do you enjoy this guy? It's just so corny like i like it no i like the corny i like crazy. common i fuck with corny shit you know uh Common's corny but common still has like a certain part of his discography like what what's the like like water for chocolate his early is, stuff like, is really all good. like pretty unimpeachably good you know i think that stuff's good there's some stuff later on because common just has this uh very like pious delivery like where he just sounds <laughs> yeah right? you know, where he's just like yeah like man i just seen the whatever i know everything yeah. and i i really don't like like rappers or singers nah, that i love take corny rappers off. i love lupe fiasco i love immortal technique corny rappers are oh. my absolute shit god I not love, a, I love not a mortal shit. technique dude we <laughs> not I, like they, too i'm not talking like lin-manuel miranda corny or like hops oh thank corny. god no, no, no. That, that's corny. a no, no, don't, don't talk shit on shit. hops and bro don't <laughs> oh my god bro not every one of my annoying friends used to think hobson was the coolest bro i have a mind of hops dude I, straight up, I have a hopson story I, I i went i when i was this would had to be summer of like 2013 or something i was i was i was dating a girl kind of a summer fling we were back in florida and somebody was messaging me and who was an, an old like a kid from my high school who I was never really close with, but he saw the art that I was posting at the time. And he was like, bro, we got to chill when you're in Florida, bro, come through, let's chill, whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. And so me and my girlfriend at the time, I was like, do you want to go hang out with this guy? And she was like, whatever. We went over to his place at this point in his life, I guess he was a devout vegan. He had just become like an intense vegan. And we went in there and I swear to God, the hangout sesh consisted of us going to his room and he showed us a documentary, like a vegan documentary about (laughs) like all of the horrific things that they do to like baby oh yeah i love those uh like uh have you ever seen the one where it's the conveyor belt of baby bailed chicks that they're just they're going into the pressure it was it was (laughs) something something to that effect he literally then made us like a green juice smoothie or whatever (laughs) and then and then we were just and we were chilling and then he was like bro i got one of the thing to show you have you ever heard of this rapper hopson and at the (laughs) and at the and and at the the time i did not know who he was I was like no i haven't heard of him and, and he was like bro let me play you some song and he played me some music video on the whole thing was just us watching fucking videos on his computer and he just <laughs> and, he, and he showed us this fucking youtube video music video of hobson where he's got the, con, the, the fucking white contacts, contacts in, and he's like yo everybody around me does drugs <laughs> shove it up your ass you fucking suck and i remember just being like sitting there and being like I like I and my girlfriend or like my ex I was just like 
I think she was being polite because I kept like looking at her because I was trying to exchange one of those glances like, yo, what the f- <laughs> is going on right now? But she was kind of just like politely sitting there like I couldn't get a read on her. And then we finally got back in the car to leave. And she was like, we are never hanging out with that. Kid. <laughs> it was like, it was I could insane. take the green juice. The Hobson was a little too. The Hobson was this is, I'm not. I'm not a hip hop head or anything. But my observation is there's there's a very King Lear like story to Eminem in that he produced three terrible sons. You know, all of his heirs are awful because the three yeah. rappers who have the most identifiable connection to Eminem's flow are as follows. Hobson, Lin-Manuel Miranda, and Tom McDonald. The really? three terrible sons no, of Eminem. There, it actually is worse than, it, it's worse than what you're describing because even those three, you're right, would all of those guys would cite Eminem as a major influence on their work. But the problem is, is that there are, it's not three that he's spawned. He spawned yeah, a it, million. It's probably yeah, thousands, if not millions, of one. It was your phenomenon. It was the phenomenon. I keep the phenomenon. It was worth it for Eminem. It's literally it was worth just the it lyrical, it. spherical miracle, like yeah. all of that. T- it's just guys who think that rapping fat. Oh, there was just a video trending on Twitter. Did you see this one guy that was like, "Yo, this is the fastest rap song yeah. ever recorded." Did you see that one? And he's yeah, like, no. literally the phenotype of the guy from your high school who is still rapping who's been trying to be a rapper since yes. high school and he's still yes. doing it no. and he's just like uh, he's got that really badly lined up beard and his eyes yes. are like slightly too wide set and he's got like a nice it's like, not the bumble club guy is it no that guy's awesome. that guy's based bro. i love yeah, him. that guy's based. That, that guy's awesome there's a lot right? of people no, this, like that watsky was... remember watsky oh my he rap god fast. Bro. white boy rap fast he was the white find... guy right yeah white guy, yeah. yeah there there is this is a the pitfall of a lot of white rappers who think, well, I don't have flow in that, you know, I'm not, there is no sort of like instinctual rhythmic delivery, funky rhythmic delivery behind the beat or anything, you know, like how mm-hmm. Biggie could get behind the beat. So in order for people to notice that you don't have that flow, you rap real fast. It's, and yeah. I mean, the difference between a lot of these guys and Eminem is Eminem, even though it's like super like edgy and staccato, he can actually get behind the beat and flow sometimes. Yeah. So it sounds like vaguely, at least, you know, I haven't listened to any of the new stuff. No, Eminem like, does have some songs, especially I think like the Slim Shady EP and like, and even there's he's some fresh, stuff. Bro. He's fresh. I'm a little bit he's of good. an yeah, apologist good. for some of his later work. There's some stuff on like, I feel like he had an album in like 2015, like Marshall Matters. That Don't say like rap song- God, bro. Well, no, I mean, not... rap got in terms of like the the destroying the fast rapping world in terms of like launching the fast rapping shit. Oh and it's, I mean, I like fast rapping too. Like, uh, Tech Nine is great. You know, it's like uh, you can be a fast rapper. I cannot believe you've cited Immortal Technique and Tech Nine as rappers <laughs> that you're like. I actually got to hand it to them. That's yeah, like they're a, fun. That's they're like fun. The they're st- they're silly. No and they're way fun. do you have to hand it to them. It, bro. You can, you <laughs> can, Tech Nine is so fun. You don't you don't think it's oh. funny? Or okay, here's a more less controversial. Busta Rhymes. You know, Busta Rhymes can okay. rap real fast, and but it's not thing, annoying. But Busta Rhymes and and actually Twista. Busta, Is it Busta Rhymes or Twista? Buster? Bust, oh Busta Rhymes. This is I am like cringing listening to this fucking conversation <laughs> okay the, okay but buster rhymes buster, and twist buster, uh, buster yeah. rhymes are two um they're two guys that are really good at fast rap as their brand because oh my god look at this cat dude look at this fat it's fuck, so, cute. so cute uh they, they're two guys that are like i i think they have a really good sense of flow and riding the beat and but they're the small minority of of uh, like fast rappers i think usually guys that make that their brand it's not yeah. it's, and it's not even a white thing because there's other rappers that are like i'm sure there are some people that i'm alienating in the audience here but yeah. holy shit there's this other rapper jid i don't know who jid cannot is. stand jid. bro a horrendous rap and it's another one that's just like yo society bibbity bibbity booty bobbity boot like just like and, yeah. I, and and like tell I a have, story you fuck Tell me, you know it's what like... it is? I have a. I just have this visual, this like innate thing that when I hear music like that, I picture hot boxing a car with somebody who I'm friends with, but the person who's in the driver's seat is somebody who I'm not really close with. But it's just like, yo, let's hang out with my boy. Let's all hot box the whip. Okay, cool. And we're all smoking, and the guy's like, bro, I gotta play this music for you. And it's it's like this nightmare inducing fast rap garbage music um, that he's just me, like bro i'm on a next level and i'm like that this wasn't, shit sucks that wasn't fast rap when i was doing all that stuff in my college years around 2010 that almost always the word 
would be, you know, the thing that That's would play. That's like a nightmare. Situation. That chick yeah. is nightmare so is sexy. That, bro, when y- I was in Yolande high school, Visser. dude, I jacked off to every music video she was in, bro. That's I was awesome. busting I fucking you, loads. And I like you That's how I know you're based. I you. <laughs> it's, yeah, she's cute. Aren't she, they weird? Didn't they do some fucking Yeah, up they're shit? weird. I remember I remember like 10 years ago, somebody, it was like a groupie though or something. I, maybe I'm misremembering, but somebody came forward and was like, I was involved for like one week in like a weird sexual relationship with the two of them because they're married, Yolandi yeah. and the Didn't freaking other guy. Watkin Tudor Jones. Yeah, and then and something like Ninja. that. And then they, and they, yeah, Ninja, there you go. And then, well, who, it's so funny that his name got co-opted by a Fortnite player. But then, anyway, they're like, <laughs> but anyway, the, the I think that she said that it was like she walked into the bathroom and they were both sitting in the tub and they both had shit in the tub and they were like, what are you waiting for? Get in. Like, it was literally something what? like that. that what? Well, you know. I, I'm maybe misremembering it, but it was, but I think the woman came forward and posted some, like evidence that there was truth to it like like texts where she was like i really didn't feel comfortable with the shit in the tub and the guy was like well we do it all the time like like just completely owned up to it and i was yeah. like all right these guys are well really you know bad. there you go now you get to the top of the world eventually you know you think you shit in a tub it's normal to you you know <laughs> you do it every you shit in a yeah. tub every day and roll around in it you know to other people it's weird it's but normal it's like when you go over to a friend's house at, uh, after school and their family does things a little differently you know yeah like you know? The, oh, we, we put story. ketchup we put mayonnaise on our fries and we shit in the tub you know dude i remember there's always that story of the guy going over to his friend's house after school and uh asking for juice you know and then pouring yeah. juice and drinking it and then he didn't finish it so they poured it back into the <laughs> oh, container, no. which is kind of just like with all the backwash yeah yeah, but, that, you know, yeah. You gotta save money yeah, that's Bro, hate, this ball right? of poop is such. He's such I can't a believe fatty, how still bro. he's just been sitting on you right yeah. now. <laughs> he just wants. He's just only lazy, wants. Man. Bro, yeah, life is one. good though, because like when you're talking fast about rappers. The, well, it's not fast because like when you're doing fast rap, you start saying dumb shit, right? Yeah. MF Doom though, he says dumb shit all the time, and it's still so good, bro. Yeah, because okay. he has the most so beautiful good. voice in the world. There he has the greatest voice. Super of all time. Mario, a hop yeah. into Cario. Fuck yeah, he can say any, yeah, he can say yeah. anything. like an Oreo. There, it's there so is, good. There's a difference because just like MF Doom. Well, MF Doom. I mean, some sort of the criticism that you could give him, even though, I, dude, I fucking love MF Doom. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. But like the, I mean, the criticism if you want to be sort of shallow minded about it is that he has the same flow on every song. Like he doesn't, he does not change. I mean, I don't don't care. (laughs) But you know, he he does the same thing where he kind of like when he's writing the beat, he pauses on the first beat and then he delivers the same thing in the same flow. It's just how he delivers every single song. But some of the lyrics are like, he is so good at that, like kind of, Hemingway iceberg theory less is more thing where he says he yeah. just said the, just the right words just the right amount of things to paint a picture or just like put you in a like like give you a really strong sense of like visual and also it it, it helps that he produces a lot of his own beats and a lot of them especially yeah. on mm, food and also on um mad villainy are very like collage rap yeah like well it's, it's nostalgia really and... and you know the fact that he's always yeah. referencing brands and stuff like that and old cartoons and stuff and that was a lot of 90s hip-hop too because you know wu-tang clan was of course drawn from like underdog and old yeah movies, but, there, but there's an honesty to the references because it actually sh- it's not like him referencing like hey anybody else heard of fucking you know batman it's like it's like him in a like painting this picture without necessarily being so dead on about just yeah being a being a recluse being a stoner being indoors watching a lot watching yeah. movies Cheetos, like Doritos or Fritos Honestly, yeah exactly great line you know that it's was great. my life for a while was Dude, Cheetos he, Doritos or Fritos yeah. grandma's yeah, yeah. 10 cent raisin or whatever those like yeah. stupid cookies you get at the grocery or uh gas station yes yeah, Dude, that, that the, mund- there's a mundanity, a quality of mundanity yes. to MF Doom that there's like where a... he spins out the most. It, but it was apparent in stuff like New Jabez too, and what has since turned into like the lo-fi hip hop thing that you can get, you know, endless of that idea of like that 
that sort of old timey sounding thing where it feels like you're you're somehow in the past or you're being immersed or surrounded by the past or memories of, of childhood or something like that yeah i dude i mean I, did, mf doom has a great uh he one of my like favorite lines on on one of his songs is just, he has one line where he's something i think it's on doomsday i'm trying to find the lyric to say which one it is but he says, oh here uh he's quick to slice squares like sicilian and what he's talking <laughs> about he's talking about slicing he's talking about selling acid like cutting squares of acid yeah. but cutting squares like he's referring to like a sicilian slice of oh, pizza yeah. and i'm like that is such a good fucking line Great and metaphors. it's like eight words fucking j cole could never could never yeah, like, yeah, like, it's like j that's cole like would that would be a whole play. that would be a whole verse for j cole having to exactly I, I, I can't I, like, I shouldn't rag on j i sort of feel bad for him I always liked the guys in college who called themselves the weed philosopher. I always found them charming. There are J. Cole songs that I like because they're more just like, they're not trying so hard. I think J. Cole has really tried to position himself in a way that he's like supposed it's to be this like intelligent the preachy, rap. The preachy, preachy. quality. And it's like, it's like dude, just yeah. stick to the fucking, just play whatever. Like, but he, he was also song. acting like he would kill any rappers he had beef with. And it's like, bro, any mainstream rapper right now has probably never even shot a gun. You know what I mean? That should that uh, you think? I don't know. I think there's more than you'd think. I think like dude, I don't, also, Drake dude. leans into that because he wants to seem cool, but it's like, bro, Drake dude, shooting you with uh, a gun, it not, would blow bubbles. Drake, no, it well, would blow bubbles. Like, that, that's also what, if, what if Drake's classic? like a really good show? Wouldn't that be so threatening? Like you just see Drake sink like six into the <laughs> six into the heart of like a well, dude. dude I scary. heard because another he rapper has the was dexterity talking... of a woman. Right? <laughs> well, he's another rapper was talking, but only in his hands. Another rapper was talking about Drake, and they were like, Drake's whole mo, which is this is so pussy shit, bro. But it's like if he gets mad at you he'll DM your sister, your mom, your girlfriend and try to fuck them. And it's like, that's so lame. That's lame. That's well, so dude, lame. There, there, there's also, there's so many things I want to say right now, but there's also the classic die ant word. They, they also talked about, they just like did an interview. I want to say a few years ago where they were talking about, because they called Drake. I, I can't say it. You guys can say it. No, no. They called him the F slur. And uh, uh, why can uh, I are, say it? What do you mean? You say it all the time. Oh yeah, but you're Perfect. acting like I am. I well, am. Well, I'm just one. saying I wouldn't say it. I'm saying I wouldn't say it. You might yeah. say it. I don't say it. But anyway, so look, I'm call, trans. They... I get to say retarded. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they... no, no. I need to stop. I, they... I can't do those jokes yet, damn it. I don't even look it. I can't Dude, do it, it was... yet. I have you was... people are bad for me. You <laughs> they're, they're... cis monsters <laughs> dragging me down. Diane um, word. They they said they called him that. I think in the, in an interview or in a song or something like that. And then. He was like on Twitter or saying just like, yo, like fuck these guys. I hate them. Like there was some clear beef or something like that. And then uh, they were saying that like a few months later, they just so happened they were hanging out with Kanye West yes, like years yes. ago. They this is animated, this whole story, by the way, on YouTube. Yes, I think I that's how I up. saw it. Yes. And they went to go, they went to go hang out with Kanye West. And I think they linked up with like Travis Scott came over too. And they were kind of were leaning into the fact that even Kanye would just kind of quiet like in general they were awkward like not as hard as you would expect or even really social like just kind of like awkward and odd and then Kanye was like oh Drake it, who lives next door or whatever he just invited us to play basketball over there and you know I think Ninja was kind of like all right I wonder if this is gonna be weird you know what I mean or go over there and they like went over there and Drake didn't say a word to them or did, just was like really just like he was very catty. I loved very, him. He's such like a catty, bitch. But like, didn't say, didn't say <laughs> like, said, no, I heard what you said. Like, I'm like, what no, he just rappers? he just snubbed him like this. That's Canadian, mm. bro. That's yeah, a Canadian. It's, thing. It's, yeah, he's being very passive. So you know, funny. oh, sorry about the. Oh, and as long as I'm talking about this, I am. You've heard the Scarborough accent, right? You've heard the mm. Mississauga accent, one? right? What is um, it? It is a entirely new accent that has cropped up in the Toronto suburbs, which is a mixture of like. Um, like Midwestern, like, oh, we're going down to the store there and Caribbean, which, you know, I don't want to do it. You yeah, have to, but it's like Did that woman go viral recently from that podcast. Cause she was like, if you leave your mom in the hood, you're a total you. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yes, you got yes, it. That's the yes, one. Yes, that's the, yeah. Yes, that's the, yes. that's the Mississauga accent that has become so pro. And I love it. It's like a perfect it's a perfect accent. Is you, know, you they, good or bad? You're Canadian. Is that good? Or I don't, bad? I don't know that. I don't know the oh. terms. 
it sounds like youth, like how um, uh, my, in my cousin's no, I think it's a car. Ute. It's a car. A Ute is like a, a utility term vehicle. For a car. Isn't yeah. that, that's like yeah, chucker in the Ute. Yeah, I know yeah. that from the Michael Q. <laughs> oh, chucker um, in the Ute. Oh, I should watch the new Smiling Friends. It's the, really you know, good. The, yeah, it's the new really Smiling good. Friends is very good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, what when is the new any day now? The actual season is about to drop, right? Well, it's, I think they do it episodically because it's with Adult Swim, so it won't all drop at it, once. I see, I yeah. see. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, what were oh, you saying, Harris? I feel like I cut you off six. Well, no, there there was five. another thing that I wanted to mention because you were talking about how modern rappers aren't, they don't actually shoot guns and then it's not a real yeah. thing, or you know what I mean? But it all kind of ties in. First of all, MF Doom classic song, Rap Snitch Knishes, where he's literally saying in the song, he's talking about how rappers love to talk about how hard they are and what they're doing and they're confessing to crimes which then get them in trouble he's basically just like rap snit like rap snitches love telling all their business and they're in court playing being their own star witness basically saying everything that they've done because they want to yeah. sound hard and it's like dude in just the past 10 years we've seen two big pretty big artists these guys i mean and this is only two of them but this guy melly ynw melly uh this guy he what he literally had a song with kanye called murder on my mind which is actually <laughs> a good song where okay. he literally talks about killing a guy and watching the life leave his eyes and it's a very impassioned it's a good song like it's like actually oh, johnny sad. cash did that and he didn't get in trouble no but that but i think johnny cat i don't know if johnny cash actually killed someone he did he not kill a man guy. he fucked a man in reno i fucked a man in that reno, reno just, just to watch him, him come. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, the uh but anyway the, the, anyway but melly is in prison now because he was found he was convicted uh on a, a premeditated murder and he's face he's faces oh no imprisonment. melly no so and that's one of them and the other guy this other guy take a who's I, who i fucking love take a he's actually got he released one tape and then and literally half of the tape was he was recording in hiding as he was like running away from the police for a crime i think he what did it's like a fucking r- boondocks joke <laughs> oh, dude i'm not even literally. i'm not even kidding he he was uh yeah dude his the same day that his hit song "The Race" it peaked at number four on on Billboard Hot 100. The same day that it was released, he was captured by U.S. Marshals because he was uh, for three months he was running and hiding from the authorities because he was found guilty of murder for his involvement in a 2016 home invasion and robbery. And I want to say in both of these cases, and actually, famously, Young Thug also currently on trial for racketeering and there and it's actually what are, Wait, racketeering kidding. that's crazy that's like dude, something you you get caught for in like the 30s or dude, something like young, young young thug has been on trial one of the biggest like hottest selling rappers is currently on trial and there's actually not too much public info about what's going on but the, the he got major... recode like a Dude, fucking, you know, the, the <laughs> major, the, the major thing that's kind of become like a contentious issue is that the prosecution is trying to use song lyrics as evidence in yeah. court. And I think with mixed results, and I think like there are some people that are like, what type of precedent does this set in terms of like art, like storytelling? Like, what are you allowed to say? What is, you know what I mean? How, what is just like, expression and what is actually can be used as evidence yeah. in court it's an interesting the conversation Beatles admitted to domestic violence and getting better you know should they should they use that as evidence of you know <laughs> yeah, they used to be uh, cruel to my that, woman i beat true. her and kept her apart from which apparently was a john line <laughs> that was weird or, or the, it run 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 as fast as you can or run for your life run that for your life if you can creepy. little girl hide your head in the sun little girl that i <laughs> yeah that song i remember because rubber soul is like my favorite beatles record but when i i heard that song i think the first time i was like I mean, still, it's not even a first time. Thing. Oh, yeah. it's like, I mean, I it rips. Hear that one. It's I'm like, like misogynistic as hell, song, but it man. rips. You know, I was listening to Ghostface Killer. The I was listening to Iron Man the other day, and then Wildflower comes out. I was like, whoa, this song is just not very nice to women, but it fucking yeah. rips. I'm so, 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 and I can say that. I can say that. I, I, no, I can't. There's women are the n words of the world is the yeah, best. The, the, the John, best the John, that one's classic. Who, like, 
how do you write that song and no one in your PR team is like, the seventies were like John. I have listened to all of Bob Dylan lately for podcasts. My friend was like, hey, "Yeah, get into Dylan." I'm like, sure, why not? And in Hurricane, he says the N word. Um, but also Bob Dylan, also very misogynistic music that also kind of rips because it's like all of the early songs vacillate between like a black man was shot today and I hate this bitch. Bitches ruin lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got to get you on to come again. This two hours flew by. I am. Oh I'm yeah. So it's always great really talking good. to you guys. You, you are uh, wonderful, wonderful cartoon people. And it's nice to be doing this. It's nice to be doing my big follow-up co- podcast with wonderful straight cis men. Exactly. I know, who I should right? be doing it with. <laughs> <laughs> we love talking over minority voices here on cold cuts. It's the best yes. thing Based. ever. Based. Oh, yes, that's, I am, I am a minority now. Trans <laughs> and Jewish <laughs> and also but, dumb. So and that, also, dumb uh guys all of this is made possible with viewers like you at home uh in particular the (laughs) members of our patreon uh which is patreon.com slash cold cuts we'd love to see you over there uh there's a possibility that one half of this will be on patreon one half of this will be on the tube so we'll, we'll figure that out but regardless these are executive tier members of the patreon we love you so much okay we got bugs on my wee wee big tasty Brat Brat Pew Pew, Conga Heli, Francho, Gizan, HP, Limp Dick, Dilbert Text. I had to get that one right. Not the almost. I dust. forgot to edit that out of the last episode. Uh oh. It was just a Patreon episode, good. though. I think. I think we're good. Okay. Maze vs. Corn, Protista, Protagon, Shrek the Third, Shalom Guy, and Trevor Stilson. What a good advertisement for the Patreon that we're accidentally giving out all your personal dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, love you guys. Thank you so much. And then House, I guess I just want to say we we love you so much. I am so happy for you. Uh, I'm really excited for this new uh, era of your a new chapter. Yeah, of your life. Listen, House, happens. you may be a woman. <laughs> But you're always going to be our boy, dog. I'll say that. Much. I'll say that much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your casual, uh, humorous misgendering. I really Thanks. appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we really do love you. I, I love having you on. I, I, I don't even know if you realize this, but like it, when, when we don't have you on, I feel like I'm constantly singing your praises on, um, pay, on, the, on my stream, oh. on here. Anytime that I'm citing just like one of my contemporaries, so to speak, who I just admire you're the first that comes to mind so i'm so proud of you not only for your your coming out and you're on your transition but also just for everything you've done in these last two years that i've known you you're just such a such a wonderful wonderful soul and you're uh such a sweet ugh, ugh, look at you you're such a sweet boy. Oh <laughs> uh, you're mishpucha baby yeah <laughs> mishpucha, <laughs> love you. look at you uh, we'll have you on again. we'd love to have you on again very soon all uh, right whenever you're around Absolutely. Right. Love you guys. Always a blast to be on here and to get a little loose with it, you know, because that's how it get a little loose on here. And yeah, right. looking forward to next time. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>